The team Go Rocket Invasion is upon us. I'm here in the Mobile Command Center to bring you some tips on how to defeat these Team Go Rocket grunts. So we're gonna do something that I don't normally like doing when we last left off in the previous video, still in Glacier National Park. We're gonna jump ahead one day to the start of the Team Go Rocket Invasion so I can bring you this information. And then tomorrow, we'll go back and enjoy a nice relaxing day in Glacier National Park to ease the stress of the bad guys taking over the real world. So to start off, it turns out Team Go Rocket is a lot more difficult to defeat than we probably initially expected. The first thing you're gonna notice is that each grunt will use a certain type of Pokemon. You'll see me sort of realize this later on in the video, but before we start, I'm gonna start by telling you how you can figure out which type of Pokemon they're using. So before you start your battle, the grunt will say a little phrase and that gives you a hint as to what type of Pokemon they're using. So I'm gonna put them up right here and then we'll just read them really quickly. Go my super bug Pokemon, that one should be pretty obvious, bug types. Wherever is a light, there is also shadow. That's gonna be dark type, roar, in all caps. How'd that sound? Dragon types, that's what you wanna look for if you're looking for that shadow Dratini, by the way. Get ready to be shocked, electric. Check out my cute Pokemon. Not something I thought I would hear Team Rocket say. Uh, that's fairy. This buff physique isn't just for show. Fighting. You know how hot Pokemon Fire Breath can get? Fire. My bird Pokemon wants to battle with you. Flying. Ki 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 ki. Ghost. That's a reference to the uh, medium characters in the original uh, Red and Blue first generation games. Don't tangle with us. That's going to be Grass type Pokemon. You'll be defeated into the ground. Ground type. You're going to be frozen in your tracks. Ice. Normal doesn't mean weak is normal. Coiled and ready to strike. That's poison. Coiled like a snake. Are you scared of physics? Are you scared of psychics? It says physics here, but uh, I'm pretty sure it says psychics in game. Are you scared of psychics that use unseen power? That's psychic type Pokemon. Let's rock and roll. That's roll type Pokemon. Nope, sorry. That's rock type Pokemon. You're no match for my iron will, is steel, and these waters are treacherous, is water. So pay attention to those phrases. There are a couple other phrases that the grunts will use, which means they're actually going to use a team of uh, sort of random Pokemon. So if you get a phrase that isn't on this list here, be careful. It could be anything that you're going up against. Now in the meantime, people are still reporting and we're compiling a list of potential teams that Team Go Rocket will use, but just keep in mind there are a limited number of Pokemon they use, so if you're going up against Grass, you're probably going to see Bulbasaur, Ivysaur, Venusaur, so make sure your counters are able to resist both Grass and Poison type moves. Um, they use Zubat, obviously, Squirtle, Charmander, Mudkip, the Mudkip family, so watch out because you want to use Grass Pokemon and not necessarily electric. Electric is not gonna be great against those uh, water and ground type combination Pokemon. Now currently, this invasion is getting crazy. Team Go Rocket is taking over New York City. I'll update you when we find out what happens. So stay tuned for my first encounters with Team Go Rocket and a few more tips on how to beat them because they are surprisingly difficult. morning. Just doing a little cleaning because it's time to hit the road. Finally leaving Glacier National Park. I gotta be honest, I'm a little sad about it. I'm stopping for breakfast in Kalispell, Montana and when I said I was looking for property in Montana, this is typically actually where I'm looking, a little closer to Glacier. So uh, Team Rocket has invaded Pokemon Go and Willow needs help. I'm glad to see you. Can I get your help with investigating something? I've noticed an alarming number of reports. Yes, discolored Pokestop. Some trainers even spotted people wearing shirts with a big letter R. They see me, they spot me, because that's what I'm wearing. These shady characters appear to have Pokemon with a mysterious dark aura around them. As I investigate this with Spark, it might be best to power up some of your Pokemon. He knows I don't max my stuff out. All right, let's do it. I got some special research. Okay, evolve two Pokemon, power up Pokemon five times. We'll get to that. But first, yes, 
I see an invaded Pokestop for the first time in my life. They're going for the churches. Okay, so I'm facing this way. I need to go this way, I think? Yeah, let's try this way. All right, I took about 10 steps and the invasion ended, but there's another one, this way. So it's another church. They really want these churches. All right, here it is. And someone's walking a baby goat on a leash. I could definitely see myself living here. All right, the Pokestop is in range. It's freaking out. I tap on it, I spin it. Two day streak. Oh, Spark, my guy. Okay. I overheard that some shady characters have been showing up at Pokestops. I think you need to check it out, but be careful. I have a feeling you might end up in battle. I'm prepared, man. Want more items? You'll have to beat me. Ooh, arms crossed. Ooh, here we go. So it looks like we're going in Great League. Time out. Quick time jump to the future here to show you what you need to do if you're only getting Great League recommended. Turns out, if you make a Master League team, then you'll get your Master League Pokemon. So, so if you want to do it in Great League, totally can. But if you have a Master League party or an Ultra League party, it'll actually give you the option to use those. So, when I spin this stop, we'll get Team Rocket here. And when I go into the battle, coiled and ready to strike. First of all, that's a hint at what type of Pokemon this Grunt is using. That's going to be Poison type. And now since I have a Master League party, there it is. Master League Pokemon I know is using Poison, so I'm gonna use Ground, Psychic. Yeah, that should be fine. So there you go. If you have a Master League party, you can use those Pokemon. If you don't have parties set up, it'll default to Great League. So just watch out for that. Uh, if you wanna do it in Great League, totally fine. It's like hard mode. There's varying degrees of difficulty, I guess. Even in Master League, these Pokemon do a significant amount of damage. Anyway, there you go. Make a Master League party. Makes things a little easier. Oh, he sent out a Bulbasaur. It's a Shadow Bulbasaur, and those Vine Whips are super effective. That's not the right switch either, but that's fine. Is this actually going to be a challenge? That's fun. Oh, shoot. I don't know if I can do this one-handed. I forgot the that this is updated, but all right, I hit excellent on that. Rock slide, I know I can do one-handed. That's good. Hmm. Oh, this is so fun. So much better. All right, now I'm gonna have to put the camera down because I totally forgot that this is a serious battle and not just a tap fest. Oh, it's another Bulbasaur. It's another Bulbasaur. All right. I missed one. This was easier one-handed. Oops. I, I like this a lot. I love that we have, like, NPC battles now in Pokemon Go. And, oh my god, I'm not in good position here. Like, if I don't get this Ice Beam, I lost. This guy killed me with two Bulbasaurs and an Ivysaur. I know what Grass-type Pokemon are we- I just didn't know we had Grass-type Pokemon. Rematch. Let's do it again but I'll use my grass type beaters. By the way, best technique, circles. Just spin in circles like that. Um, for those ones with things flying through like that, just spin in circles. Don't try to hit them exactly. Take a look. It was an awkward position for me, so I missed one, but you get the idea. There we go. That should do it. <sighs> Team Go Rocket. They're not messing around. Such a dreadful twerp. Team Rocket vernacular we're so familiar with. All right, there's a badge for it, for battles. I'm on Team Rocket. Hero badge, purifier, purifier badge, bonus. Oh, okay, so it's bonus balls. Looks like they couldn't handle a little battle. They even left their Pokemon behind. Why would they do that? Uh, it's a shadow Pokemon. Would you look at that? So these are gonna be really low level when you catch them. Wow, still difficult. I'm gonna go Golden Raz just because I wanna get this. I only have three balls. Also, turns out that shiny shadow Pokemon that I showed in the video the other day, it was fake. Sorry, I didn't have a ton of time to 
follow up and do research on that since I was on the road. I saw it on the Silf Road. I figured if it's on the Silf Road, it's probably legit. Yeah, no shiny shadow Pokemon officially confirmed yet. But there it is. There's my first shadow Pokemon. It is. I remember Professor Willow talking about a process called purification. He said that it could help certain Pokemon become more powerful. Let's give it a shot. So if you take a look, wow. Its IVs are uh, 14 attack, 13 defense, and 6 HP. First of all, take a look at the power-up costs. Significantly higher for a Shadow Pokemon. But if you purify it, it is going to... It's kind of a cool animation. It's like I'm casting a Final Fantasy spell. Oh, purified Bulbasaur. So its IVs are going to increase, and if you take a look, its attack and defense are now maxed. Its HP went up by 2. So its IVs will each increase by 2 when you purify. So keep that in mind if you get a Pokemon with like 13, 13, 13 IVs, once you purify it, it will become perfect IV. Now because of that, you can't trade Shadow Pokemon anymore, because if you had a lucky Shadow Pokemon, then you could easily get 100%. But there's a nice little purified aura on my Bulbasaur. Cute. And now the invasion is over. And there's another one on the way back. Let's go eat breakfast. Got some good work done. Got a video edited, exported, now uploading. 26 minutes remaining, but hopefully it goes a little faster than that. Right now, the Team Rocket event is starting. The Team Rocket event that I just uploaded a video about, so. So, while this uploads, why don't I? Uh, not there, where's this one? That's what I like to see. Go shiny check my first Ekans and do another Team Rocket battle. And I had to bring the car with me, you know, for the upload. All right. Triple Ekans shiny check. Show me that makeup community day shiny. It's purple like shiny Mudkip was supposed to be. Only this time we want that nice Slytherin green. Oh, also I just realized the Pokestop is no longer invaded. So I guess that means we're hitting the road. Actually, what it means is I need to find a nice shady place to park so I can keep uploading and also make a thumbnail. Work on the road. Okay, more work done in the car. This is becoming more of an office than the trailer is. But I need to get on the road now. I still have six or seven hours of driving. It's almost three o'clock now, so let's go. We're heading near the gorge, almost to the gorge. Just stopped at a random uh, gas station here and happens to have an invaded Pokestop. St. Regis Travel Center, perfect. So we could default to Master League. I kinda wanna go hard mode, honestly. I, I think it's more fun that way. There's an 8,000 CP Crobat. I guess now it doesn't matter what moves when I, yep, it's all rock. Which is fine. Can I get to Stone Edge? I have to go Rock Blast here. Oh, excellent. I think we've done it. Hard mode. Fun mode. How about we call it fun mode? All right, three balls left. It's a Zubat. So now let's just go over a couple more things about Shadow Pokemon. First of all, I haven't talked about this yet. Frustration is the move that they know. It's kind of a terrible move. It's actually really bad. Once you purify them, they learn return. It's a normal type move also, but it has better stats. It's not great in PvP. Body Slam is better. So many moves are better than Return in PvP. But in gyms and in raids, it's really strong. However, it's normal type, which means it's not super effective against anything. So I can't really see a situation right now where you'd really want Return, um, but it's there as an option. Hopefully, uh, maybe it'll get a stat rework at some point and become a little bit more useful. Now. You may have noticed that all your shadow Pokemon have really low CP. That's because typically they're level 1 to 5. If they're weather boosted, they could be 6 to 10. Once you purify, they'll immediately jump up to level 25. And once purified, they're going to cost 10% uh, less Stardust to power up. So this Bulbasaur, 
at level 25 should cost 4,000 Stardust. It's only 3,600. So if you get good IVs on a Shadow Pokemon, purify it, you'll get a little bit of a discount in powering it up. So in case you want to do that, you have the option. Wow, now I have a whole new reason to need revives. Look at all these Pokemon that need to be healed up here. All right, I got to get back on the road. Actually, I'm going to get lunch. Five o'clock in the afternoon, lunch. Here's home for the night. A uh, little RV park just outside of Spokane, Washington. Tomorrow, we're headed to the gorge. Tonight, we're taking a shower and settling in for some editing. See you tomorrow for some Above and Beyond. <laughs>